always say, people always say, what is your greatest achievement in Anambra State? I always say to them, bringing civility and order in governance. It is not about, uh, it's not about infrastructure. It's not about infrastructure. It's not about this or that. The bringing order in governance is more critical. Some of you might not know that the greatest problem we face is not just corruption, but even in discipline and irresponsibility of office holders. There's nowhere in the world you see somebody who is supposed to be a custodian of the law, breaking the law consistently, except in this country. Because he makes sure he jumps the queue if other people are keen. He makes sure he does everything that is wrong. So for me, doing that was the most critical thing. Let me plead with all of you this night. Whenever people talk about you, all of you have been to good schools. I always have friends like you who tell me about Singapore and this and that. And what I tell them that if you go to Singapore, and that's the only example I'll use, the best people are in government. The best brain is in government. I plead with all of you, as you enjoy and do whatever you do, in your good office and everything, please do not leave governance to the least in the society. That's what we are doing today. The role models we have in government are the least in the society. And all of us are complaining. There's no way we won't complain. There's no way. People say to me, how were you able to save money? It was very simple. All we did was to shut down the cost of governance. In eight years, I never had a governance lodge in Abuja. Why should I have it? I don't live in Abuja. It's not necessary. As a governance lodge in Lagos, you can go and see it. I lived it for 25 years. I don't live in Lagos. Why should we have governor's office in Lagos? In one, in one year alone, we cut the cost of gov governor's travel by 80%. Why? When they invite me to Abuja for a meeting, I'm the only person invited. Why should I go with 30 other people who nobody invited? And they have no reason to be there. And that's what is happening. You don't need to go too far. No, it's, it's important that you know that. That is what is their problem, the cost. I have to pay for 30 people, nobody invited for the meeting. They constitute a nuisance to the traveling public at the airport. I go to the hotel and pay for them. And you know, because they have...